Many of his co-workers joined in the celebrations when mild-mannered researcher Harald Zuhausen won the Nobel Prize. I don't think I am proud. Of course I'm happy about it and I can't hide that. But I don't think proud is the right expression. Researchers in the lab know Harald Zuhausen from their daily work at the German Cancer Research Center, the DKFZ. I experience him as a man with a very powerful aura. He's extremely poised and always there, ready to listen. When you don't know what to do and you're stuck and not making any progress, he always has a solution. He's helpful and supportive. That's exactly what we appreciate about him so much. His favorite place is the lab. As an emeritus professor, Zuhausen now collaborates with his wife, who's also a cancer researcher at the center. She heard the news about the Nobel Prize via an unusual phone call. I was in the plane going to Argentina. They told us to switch off our mobiles, and somehow I didn't. And then the call came, and he said, it worked this time. And I said, what? And he said, I won the Nobel Prize. The stewardess was standing there telling me, you've got to shut off the phone. And I said, I can't. My husband has won the Nobel Prize. Harald Zuhausen works in Heidelberg. Some 25 years have passed since he started doing research on one of humanity's most feared diseases, cancer. As a young researcher, he first focused on the pathogens that cause diphtheria and their strategy for infecting the body. That fascinated me early on and led me to the idea that a similar mechanism could be present in cancer. The notion of certain human viruses that infect normal cells, changing the properties of these cells and turning them into cancer cells. So I set myself the goal of proving that, and, thank God, I succeeded. Cervical cancer, for example, is caused by what is known as the human papillomavirus. Zuhausen already voiced this suspicion more than 30 years ago. Later, he proved that these viruses actually caused the disease. It was a question of persistence. Today, Young women can even be vaccinated against cervical cancer. The vaccine mimics the protein shell of the papillomavirus, but it does not contain any genetic material. Zuhausen won much acclaim in the course of his impressive research career, which has included the discovery of the cause of cervical cancer and the basis for a vaccine. But there's a less well-known side to Harald Zuhausen. That's his love of animals. Each year, he and his wife go on a photographic safari. Basically, I became really interested in the behavior of animals when I was just a child. I wanted to know how they reacted to different stimuli. And early on, I had a pronounced and intense interest in birds. As the years went by, I amassed a really large collection of bird books. But for him, professionally, human beings were always the main interest. As the head of the Cancer Research Center, he set up an information service for cancer patients. His credo is, take people seriously and share knowledge. He applies it to up-and-coming young scientists as well. When I started my scientific career, I didn't get enough active support. There was very little motivation. When I made suggestions for certain research projects, which were in part ill-considered because I simply didn't have the depth, then I was told I should go ahead and do it because it sounded interesting. But as a young person, you don't make much progress like that. You need to be directed critically. Be dedicated and persevere, is Harald Zuhausen's advice to young scientists, and he certainly set them an impressive example.